to high school game day with the morning raid. Good morning, Atlantic Coast. I'm Zach Benwick. I'm here with this rowdy crowd here at Atlantic Coast. I'm joined with Katie McAfee, myself, Zach, Brianna, and uh, Brent Martineau from Action News Jax. Brent, I would like to start off with you. Um, you've uh, seen a lot of games around town. You've heard a lot about Atlantic Coast. Uh, what have you heard about our football team recently? Hey, good morning to the Stingrays. Big mm -hmm. day around here today, of course. Uh, I thought coming off last week, what an impression mm -hmm. Atlantic Coast football team made. I think that shocked kind of the entire area. Uh, just a two-point loss to Lee and, and almost got that done. So a lot of momentum going into a big rivalry game here today. Thank you, Brent. Now we have an interview with head coach of the football team, Jimmy Hill. Michaela has more on this story. Hey, I'm here with Coach Hill. Hey, Coach Hill, what's the mood for the team going into this game? Uh, extremely upbeat. The guys have been working hard. Uh, they gave a great effort last week against a very good Lee team and uh, took it down to pretty much the last play of the game. So uh, we've been practicing well, and I fully expect these guys to come out and put on a great show. So I want to make sure all the student body comes out, make it real live. We need those Roddy Rays going. How does it feel being back at Stingray Bay since the last home game was 43 days ago? Uh, it's been a while. You know, we've been having to be some road warriors, you know, so to be good to be home and play in front of uh, the great student body that we have here. And I'm just excited about the game. It's homecoming. It's a district game. And it's a big one for us. So uh, our guys are confident. I'm very confident. The coaches are also. And I just can't wait to get going on Friday at 7. What kind of preparation have you done to prepare for this game against Fletcher? A lot of film study. Uh, we got a lot of film on these guys. And, uh, we've been uh, looking at some of our tendencies to make sure we break some of those and just try to concentrate on the things that they do well and take those things away from them. And uh, we feel if we do that, and uh, as always, run the football well and tackle, and we'll come out on top. Thank you, Coach Hill. Back to you. Thank you, Michaela. It's been a fun week here at Atlantic Coast with homecoming week and pep rallies. Have you guys seen anything fun or exciting? Zach? Uh, yes, I think this week's been great. It's been energetic, a lot more, uh, a lot better than previous years. Um, I feel like just the spirit going into this game is just, it's just going to be electric there. Yeah, same with me. You know, this week has gone pretty well, and it's nice to see all the school spirit among the student body. Let's take a look back at this week. When the swallows come back to Capistrano, that's the Zach, you're the kicker of the football team, so from what you've seen in practice and at the games, how well do you think your teammates will perform against Fletcher? You know, I think this week we've prepared very well. We've just practiced hard every week. Monday we couldn't practice. Uh, rain, it happens, but, you know, we never take a day off. We have great coaches. We have a lot of people investing in us, and I feel like just uh, coming off, you know, it was a loss, but it was, it's great momentum going into this game after Lee. Brent, can you tell us anything about our opponent? Yeah, Fletcher's pretty good. Five and one record. Uh, Kevin Brown always has that team playing tough, hard-nosed defensive football. And keep an eye on Jeremiah Payton. He's a fantastic talent in the area and a, a kind of player that really can steal the show on a Friday night and take over a football game. He just got his Under Armour All-American jersey earlier in the week. He's a Miami commit. So if uh, Atlanta Coast can stop Jeremiah Payton, keep him in check, I've got a chance in this one. Thank you, Brent. So we have moved locations due to the rain, unfortunately, but that's not going to stop our show today. We're at our favorite time in the show. We get to make our picks for tonight's game, Fletcher versus Atlantic Coast. Katie, who are you going to have winning tonight? While Atlantic Coast did have a rough start to the season, I do think we're going to take the win with the momentum coming back from the Lee game. Yeah. Yeah. Now over to Brianna. Brianna, who do you think is going to win tonight, Fletcher or Atlantic Coast? I'd have to agree with Katie. I think we have the talent and potential to win, so Atlantic Coast. Yeah. Yeah. Brent, what about you? You've seen our competition. You've seen who we're going to play tonight. Uh, they're 5-1, and one, like you said. Uh, who do you have winning tonight? Yeah, I would think they would be the favorite in this game, but these people are scaring me behind me. And here's the deal. 31-yard kick at the end of the game. Atlantic Coast gets it done. Yeah. 
Thank you, Brent. Um, I'm very familiar with Fletcher's football team, just uh, seeing them. I played with them when we were little, Pop Warner League. Uh, they definitely have a great game against us tonight, but you know, I think the preparation we've had this week is not going to stop us. I have Atlanta Coast winning tonight. Yeah! yeah. That's all of our time that we have here today with this insane crowd. It's been great. Um, we'll see you guys tonight at the game. Go Stingrays! Yeah!